my name is Shim Lu, and I'm going to talk about my paper on ideological variations on, in conceptual metaphors and press coverage on the U.S. healthcare reform bill. Um, I'm going to introduce this paper briefly and then give some background information and then show the conceptual metaphors of in this reform bill, the, um, the four conceptual metaphors appearing both um, newspapers, regardless of their ideology. And then show some ideological differences between the conservative and liberal texts. And then I'm going to conclude this presentation. Okay, um, this paper highlights the presence of metaphorical realizations in press coverage dealing with the US healthcare reform bill and seeks out the metaphorical representations to, of two opposing ideologies between the liberal and the conservative press. And um, this is accomplished by a systematic analysis of the news reports published in two politically distinct newspapers, the New York Times and Wall Street Journal. And the extracts are limited to the news articles from March 21st to March 24th, uh, 2010, around the time President Obama signed the legislation after a long and contentious political debate. All right, um, for the background information, um, the healthcare system in the US, um, for decades, a series of Democratic presidents have failed to reform the US healthcare system. After a year long heated debate between Republicans and Democrats, President Obama signed the legislation on March 23, 2010, to overhaul. Um, nation's healthcare system and guarantee access to medical insurance for tens of um, millions of Americans. For America, for Democrats, um, to help people secure coverage, the legislation should expand Medicaid and provide subsidies to families making no more than eighty-eight thousand dollars a year. However, Republicans characterized this bill as unconstitutional and as an aggressive government takeover uh, of the healthcare system that limits individuals' freedom. To explain conservative ideology in the liberals and the conservatives, Lakoff introduced two conceptual models underlying these two opposing political ideologies. So at the center of conservative worldview, there is a street plot model. In this model, once children are mature, they are on their own and must depend on their acquired self-discipline self to survive. In contrast, the liberal worldview centers on the nurturing parent model. So in this view, love, empathy, nurturing are primary and support and protection are viewed as part of this process. Right. Um, and metaphors and political discourse. Okay. The Lake of and Johnson define metaphor as conceptual mapping from one semantic source domain to a different semantic target domain. Source domains are conceptual domains from which people draw metaphorical expressions, often those things humans can easily think of the part of physical world which are indeed familiar. The target domain are the conceptual domain that people try to understand, hidden from the senses or otherwise unknown. So for example, love is journey metaphor, love is target domain, and source is uh, journey is the source domain. Um, metaphor and political discourse in particular, this um, is critical means of constructing public worldviews as well as conceptualizing political issues. Also, it plays an important role of creating particular discourses that reflect political ideologies. So, um, the four conceptual metaphors on the U.S. healthcare reform bill are found in both newspapers regarding their ideologies. They focus on the process of passing this appropriate legislation. So, um, for one target domain, passing healthcare reform, healthcare legislation, 
of four source domains are used, war or fight, and sports or games, and drama, and dream. Okay. Passing healthcare legislation is war metaphor underlies most of the metaphoric expressions in the news articles that convey confrontation between Republicans and Democrats. So these are examples. War, fights, battle, and combat represent the intensity of the political debate over the bill. The war metaphor and mappings enhance the fierce and ferocious and even violent aspect of the debate or argument of the health care reform bill, and in turn, lead to form a public perspective of the bill into something very controversial, polarized, and even problematic issue. These are all of another examples. Okay, second metaphor is sports and game metaphor. Uh, the sports reflected in this metaphor are not for fun, but for competition. So this is a milder version of fight. So this metaphor also entails a concept of bitter conflict between the two parties. So you can see the marathon metaphor and the sprint. And then also they use hurdle and hoop, which represent difficulties and obstacles in the first uh, passage of the legislation. Okay, the third uh, metaphor is drama metaphor. Mm, this drama metaphor implies many folds, ups and downs until the bill is finally passed. So you will see the Germany Sunday in votes and also many dramas over the last year. Okay, the final metaphor is journey metaphor. Life's journey metaphor is very common and very productive metaphor. And um, as this metaphor relates to the reform bill, uh, the Asian who travels is not politician, but the bill itself. And the difficulties the bill goes through are realized. This metaphor using personification produces the following um, the mappings. So traveler is the healthcare reform bill destination of the journey is legislation of the bill and obstacles along the way are difficulties in the process of the healthcare legislation the bumpy road is a rough process of healthcare legislation so regardless of um, the ideological differences four general conceptual metaphors about passing the US healthcare reform bill has been uncovered the world fight sports drama and journey Next, the ideological differences in the metaphor used are examined. Um, the, um, both newspapers, liberal and conservative, reveal their ideology explicitly by criticizing the political party that has a contrast ideology. And uh, in particular, the US newspapers introduce different historical figures to conceptualize the healthcare bill process according to their ideology. Uh, this extract is from New York Times, the, which is liberal text. The title, Another Long March in the Name of Change, arouses the healthcare reform is Long March of Mao Zedong. The Long March led by Mao is massive military retreat undertaken by the Red Army of the Chinese Communist Party. So this metaphor describes that the healthcare reform process proved its strength and resilience despite adversity, and also brought tremendous change in the US history as Long March did in the modern history of China. On the other hand, the rest of the extract evokes healthcare reform as civil rights movement metaphor, juxtaposing the civil rights movement in 1960s and healthcare reform. And this series, um, the following mappings. The Civil Rights Healthcare for All Americans, and Civil Rights March, Democrats March to the Capitol, and Martin Luther King Jr. is for Obama.
On the contrary, Wall Street Journal, the conservative text, reveals its political views using different historical figure and events. Mm. The following uh, part of the article brings the Great Society program of Lyndon B. Johnson into the context of healthcare reform in order to downgrade the bill. So in this case, Wall Street Journal creates the healthcare reform as the Great Society program at war. For conservative, the Great Society program are seen as a social program of big government, which is incompatible with their ideology. Therefore, the healthcare reform is considered as negatively as the Great Society program to the conservative media. Worcester Journal introduces another figure, Tony Blair. Here, the Tony Blair is Barack Obama metaphor is produced. What is interesting in this metaphor is that uh, Tony Blair is constructed as the target using Obama as the source. So by choosing Obama as the source instead of the target, his cunning character from the conservative view becomes as concrete and physical as Tony Blair's character is understood in terms of him, which results in maximizing his malicious character-like effect. Okay. Uh, for the passage of the U.S. healthcare reform bill, four source domains were identified. So war, fights, um, and sports, drama, and journey. In ideological differences, uh, liberal and conservative media associate different historical figures and events with President Obama and healthcare reform, uh, respectively, in accordance with their ideology. Um, so the metaphors in news articles are a reflection of ideology and at the same time a powerful tool to shape public thoughts and its worldview. Um, my paper, my study has some limitation because it's only four days of news reporting uh, on the topic. But since um, the conflict of the healthcare is likely to continue well into the future. So the future research is respected um, and then future research should strive to document the shifts in metaphorical concepts utilized by the liberal and conservative media um, as the confrontation as well. That's all for my presentation. Thank you.